for myself and my own life, I had just reached a point where I knew that there was something more. And I also knew that there was absolutely nothing that I could do with the data streams, with the different things that I was thinking about myself and the different feelings I had about other people. And every, every strategy that I had tried to um, fix myself or fix other people just didn't work. And so um, the only thing left to do was to completely relax and to rely on open intelligence and surround myself with the four mainstays. And so by doing so, uh, just that familiarity grew and grew and grew. And then simultaneously with the, inter the authentic introduction to open intelligence, we just come to understand instinctively the true nature of mind, really fundamentally understanding that all data streams are free and clear in their own place, that there is absolutely nothing out there that's going to harm oneself, that it all is the dynamic energy the, the display of open intelligence itself, open intelligence beneficial energy. And so it really is up to us how we would like to utilize the four mainstays, whether we will just continue to take short moments or whether we will just show up and allow that conviction to dawn. Either way, it's guaranteed that once we make the choice in each moment to really rely on open intelligence, we will fundamentally come into the natural well-being that is already established for each and every one of us. A question that was asked uh, um, about how is open intelligence, what's the difference between data streams informing and open intelligence informing and how do you how do you know the difference how do you know if you're coming from the data streams or if you're coming from open intelligence and i can just speak to my own experience where the data streams seemed like they were informing and controlling my own mind in every action that i took in every word that i spoke and it was because of the inherent belief system that I had been trained in for so many years that these data streams um, were the information, that they were um, separate from who I was and somehow had an authority to guide my actions. And they were belief systems, ideas, things that I had learned along the way, um, being raised and how I was educated and looking to others all of the time for, for information that I thought would be of benefit to me. And just through that repetition, then it was just natural um, to follow these things. And so with the instinctive recognition of open intelligence, all of these ideas about ourselves, all of these belief systems that we've taken to be so real are instantaneously subsumed in the recognition that there actually isn't two things. There isn't the view of open intelligence and then the data streams, that there actually only is this one seamless seamless, vast expanse, this networked intelligence as our native identity, not only our own native identity, but the native identity that's not separate from you or me. And so that's where we come into the authenticity of, of true altruism, true deep caring and understanding, because no longer are we limited in this closed system of being an individual someone, this separate self-focused individual who has self-obsessive concerns, um, our, uh, the o ownership over these ideas. But with this understanding, this fundamental understanding of true nature of mind, we open ourselves up to the vast network of intelligence, inclusive of everyone, so that altruism that I'm speaking about is the natural compassion and understanding of every single human being, understanding fundamentally what's going on with everyone. And that, that understanding and subsuming of all data streams into the one understanding of open intelligence is complete love. It's complete love where there is nothing else going on except for the movement of benefit, 
the movement of service without effort, the movement of benefit and love without thinking about it. That is totally different than living a life of intellectual understanding of what you think should be going on in the world or what you think a good person is or what you think um, the, the ideas or the way the world should be through these um, constructed values and morals. But it's an inherent morals and ethics that's right here that requires no thinking. That's the inherent morals and values and ethics that is the upholding of one another with total gratitude and respect. And to live a life of that is so amazing. It's so inclusive and it's so loving and caring, not anything that we have to contrive. But to understand that instinctively requires the commitment to rest naturally, to relax deeply, no matter what we're experiencing. And that's where we cut to the root of the bullshit. We cut to the root of every idea that we, that we think that we know it, go, it gets all subsumed in the instinct of recognition of open intelligence. And that's true relating, and that's the social change that we want to see today. It, it's vitally important, and that's um, an, a mutual understanding whether we have extreme views or um, neutral views. This is the fundamental basis of all human beings where there's no argument whatsoever about what's going on. And that is a gift, that's a gift. And this is what we speak to in Balanced View of just standing up for the innate right of mind. And with Balanced View, we have a support system, a 24 seven support system to really allow that opportunity in your life to get to know yourself as this fundamental basis where your well-being is totally taken care of and always on and always okay in every short moment.